Just a quick one, peeps. Uh, Saab 93 2006. Flow is not working. Um, put the ignition on. Fans on full. Nothing happening. Motors up beyond the glove box, beyond the dash there. So, also was in here just checking the fuses. You've got the main uh, feed down to the motor with the 40 amp, and there's one of these 10 amps is down to uh, that feeds down to the actual AC unit itself. They're okay. But whilst doing that, I was leaning on this mat and noticed it's a little squidgy. So, just coming inside, take up the uh, panel here where your pollen filter is and if you look down there this pollen filter is saturated here and then look so my guess is what's happened here all the snow has melted and water's gone into this pollen filter and down into the motor and probably seized the motor up so give this little drain a bit of a poke there we go now it goes and all that's been going into the car rather than down the drain. Right, let's have a look at the motor. Right, there's a motor. Spray a bit of WD down there, see if I can't free it off for the time being, but this is going to want a new blower motor for sure. So, of course, just want to confirm my diagnosis. Um, go take your glove box out, pop your glo uh, underneath the glove box, you've got two screws which are T25s, and then you've got uh, two at the bottom. Open the glove box, you've got one either side, then one in the middle. That comes out, disconnect the glove box light and the pipe for the uh, AC into the glove box. So, what we want to do now, we just want to check. Uh, we know we've got a power, a fuse, we want to check our power on our ground um, and just check that we're getting our signal from the control module up in the centre on the dash there. 11.88, uh, I've had ignition on for a while, I've had customers coming in. 11.9, just there. It's obviously grounded onto a, a good ground. So we've got power. Then we'll go from our power to our ground to verify our ground. 11.94. So that's all good. Go back to our good ground. Just check it. Yep. And our blue wire is our signal wire from our module. So 8.93. Let's change the fan speeds. Bring the fan speed right, right the way down. There we go, you can see our voltage is changing on our signal, 1.79. Turn the fan speed right back the other way, 8.92. So we've verified that everything else is okay and it's just our motor that's uh, seized as you saw earlier. No, still not having it. Right, turn the camera back on. I've just took out about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws from this motor. And then there's still plastic clips. I didn't film it all because it's not broadcastable. I think finally, get our motor out. Oh, they flipping, do ya? Right, let's get off this power stage output stroke module, whatever you want to call it. I just want to get to the two wires for the motor and just put power and ground to it, see if I can't spin it up. See if we can jump start it into life. See, they're pretty grotty, those terminals in there. Just dirt, maybe. Now, there's a two there for our motor. Alright, let's rig some power up. Right. 
rig up the old uh, power scan. Oh, that was uh, struggles. It did fire up, but uh, it was very, very crap. Let me turn that noise off. Right, here we go. Oh, it's squealing and... That sounds horrible. It's a lot freer now, however. I think my WD-40 I sprayed initially is worked in. That's really free, actually. Give it another blast. Yeah. Ooh, you can hear that dry bearing in there. Just one more idea. Three screws on the bottom there. Let's pull them out. We know it needs a new one, so we might as well take it apart and have a good look inside it. If we can. Does that release that? Plenty of crap coming out of it though. All this crap on the floor here, look. Ew. Well, there you go guys. A motor that's been pretty wet. However, it does seem quite free at the minute. Armature's quite worn. Brushes look worn. You can see on the end there that spindle and that bearing. I think that's probably the one that's been making a squealy noise. Let's see if we can't work this. Work the liquid magic in. Oh hello, that did the trick. Oh look peeps, it spins. Okay. It might live to tell a tale. Let's connect this bad boy back up. Get a face full of WD-40. gone tight again now. Whoop, trip me. Trip me thing. Yeah. Now we're going. No, it's alright, it's freed up. Keep jamming and cut through my wire. Did it stop start there. Yeah. Flicking in and out. It might it might last a bit, but that's had it. Right. Cabin filter. New parts are here. It's Monday morning. Not sure this is the right one. Looking good. We are looking damn fine. And that's a lot looser. Look at that. So we've got to change over the little module there. Cool. Just 
two little torque screws for that. T20. spray with some cleaner. That's better. Push it in. Okay. Bad boy in, ignition on. Excellent, spell away. And that's off, back on again. Lovely, no horrible squealing on this one. Good, right. Get it fitted back up then. Some screws right around the back which are sods to get to. Well, at last, <laughs> that's a bit of a struggle, peeps. Um, six screws all the way around this thing and a couple of plastic clips. But we're up, we're plugged in. Um, just try it, put the ignition on. Yeah. And we are back up and running. So that's good news. Customer's going to dry the uh, floor out. I've wet vacked it anyway. Uh, need some heat in here now just to dry this carpet out. So I'll get everything built back together. We've got some uh, panels to go up here, uh, like that maybe. I'll feed all those back through, get it all back together. Happy days. Just a quick note, yeah, that ducting goes <clears throat> from around the back and up that way, and it's got one screw that screws into the bottom of the motor just there. And then uh, you panel in for the, uh, your kick panel basically, don't forget to plug your lights in, and then there's one screw that goes just into the side of the heater housing, just up in that area, just up there, through that hole just here. So you've got to get that out. And then there's one that goes up into the heater housing as well, up through this funnel area here. And obviously to get at that one, you've got to have this um, side console panel out. So uh, yeah, good fun and games. So the kick panel as well, you've got this one screw just in front of the seat down there. Big screw and washer for the side. Right, glove box back on now. Glove box light, AC pipe.
done. Screw for the washer goes in the back. So of course the last thing, new cabin filter. Always recommended to stick a cabin filter in when you have a new motor. Direction of flow that way into the car. And then the last thing, is a little uh, water thing which didn't do very good this time. It's got some water running on top of it. There we are, that just sits on top. The moulding comes down, something's been there before, it's still really broken. It's down for that. this a go. Currently off. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. That's better. Change it to here. There we go then guys, Saab 93 blower motor wasn't working, we know why, because that drain was blocked, water pouring inside down into the motor, the old motors, they don't like the water, bless them, so that sorted that one out, the drain's clear, new pollen fields, new motor in there, all working, happy days. So guys, hope the video was of use to somebody, if it was, please give us a thumbs up, and don't forget, connect to me, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, thanks for watching.